Hi, welcome to educator.com and another lesson in Adobe Illustrator 6 and today we're going to talk about drawing and drawing is the one I've been waiting for uh, quite a while so let's get to it okay so we're going to talk about the pencil tool and let's look in what's in the flyout section uh, so we have the pencil tool smooth tool and the path eraser tool so the pencil uh, works uh, actually works pretty similar to uh, the pen tool. So if we go look at the pen tool real quick, we'll see that it's really the same because really the, it shouldn't be named a pencil tool. It should be named like a freehand drawing tool or freehand line tool. So you look at they look pretty much the same. So here's the pencil that has a little bit more points in it because it's not because is following my hand or your hand and it's not as smooth as when you just draw two points and, and connect them okay so uh, now let's look at the um, oh, let me do something uh, a little bit irregular here because uh, I want to show you how you can smooth out um, the path so just by going close with the pencil tool uh, it can smooth out the path that you've done so now also uh, the more uh, it will either add points or or take away points whatever needs to do to smooth out now also you have a smooth tool which i showed you earlier and that does the same thing so you see here okay now also you have the path eraser tool and it pretty much just cuts the path in half um, so that's what happens there okay so you just select and dice and slice with the path eraser tool okay so now if I just double click here and open up the pencil options just has to be a little bit more cooperative okay all right almost there. okay now I have the pencil tool options here you see fidelity is at 2.5 and the higher the fidelity the greater the distance between um, points and the smoothest I has set a zero because smoothest keeps it so it approximates the actual line that you're drawing you know if you, pr you put more smoothness then it's going to um, um, you know d make the line different so you have I have keep selected edit pat select like the pass and this is within 12 pixels for the selected paths um, so something has to be within 12 pixels in order for the path to be selected. Okay. Okay, that's the pencil tool. Uh, now let's move on to another tool that doesn't really have a good name, the blob brush. So here, uh, you know, I expected something more blobby, um, but this is what it does. And also it connects immediately. So the blob brush is kind of schizophrenic because here you see it's, it's, it's created an object. It's created a shape and it does this automatically so you just keep uh, drawing with the blob brush and if it connects to another blob line then it becomes a shape now even if you notice a shape I can still erase it and it's not like the pathfinder tool so it's still one object unless I cut it right in half and then it's two separate objects okay so uh, that's the blob brush using with the eraser tool so uh, also, the eraser tool can erase the the pass, the pencil tool line. So you can see here, just go through and just erase and, and, and pretty much just disconnecting like what's there. Okay, also with the blob brush, I can hold down the right, the right bracket key and make it larger and the left bracket key to make it smaller. Okay, so you have some variety in size. You can do that on the fly while you're drawing as I just showed you. Okay, now let's look at the uh, blob brush two option. Here, these are not selected, so I'm going to show you what happens when I do keep selected. And okay, so now when I draw, um, it stays selected, unlike before. Let me get a little bit larger. And you see that they're selected. Now let me um, change uh, the selection boundaries so you can see them a little bit. So go into layer options, change this color to yellow, click OK, and now you can see that. Uh, the selection as it's being made 
Okay, so now you see that's selected with another blob line. And this is selected with another one. Now let me, let's go back into the brush two options. Now merge only with selection. And let me show you what happens there. So now it doesn't connect with any blob shape. See, it only connects with a blob shape that was already selected. So that's what merge with selected does. So I can keep going on and on and on, and it'll create another shape only with something that's already selected and leave the other blob shapes alone. Okay, 